Why are people protesting? Damn, you gotta do press conferences. Who you know who does it better than this? I'm the boy who done did it. I'm on top of the list. Trying to get a good signal like a satellite dish. Every day to me. It's like a solar eclipse. Uh -oh. What's up, y'all? It's your boy, the NM2 Coolest at African Geek. Welcome to my channel. About to dive right into episode two of Jupiter's Legacy. The show is actually mind blowing and it's made by the showrunner of Daredevil, so I'm not surprised. Um, everybody is phenomenal in it. The cast, no problem with anybody they introduced in this episode. You know what I'm saying? It's mostly following uh, uh, Brandon's family, Chloe, Brandon. Uh, Lady Liberty and what's that dude's name? Um, um, let me go on INDB to check out that dude's name. Sheldon Simpson, the main dude, the guy with the moral compass, the guy who watched his dad jump off a building and now is a hero, the Superman of the show, the moral compass, the guy who doesn't believe none of them deserve to die. The previous episode we ended with the uh, Let's say Dark, no, Dark Side, yeah, that dude who looked like Dark Side, a clone of him, whipping their asses, and he took down two of them, the Earthbender slash Mr. Negative from the Spider-Man game, and this teleport lady died, and it made Brandon react emotionally and take the guy's life, and now we're about to dive right into the second episode. Please like and subscribe if you're not subscribed. The show's phenomenal, and I plan to drop every episode. Daily, yeah. So this is probably coming to you the day after the first episode. And the next episode will do that. I'm planning to watch four today, four tomorrow. But expect them daily. Anyway, let's not waste any more time. Dive right in. Brandon took that guy's life. Damn, it's like... That's it's a loop in his head. What is that said last episode? The superhero name is the Utopian, right? He seems more uh, conscious than the clone did. Yeah, that's what I just said. He seems more aware. Why are people protesting? Damn, you gotta do press conferences. Your values or our lives? Goddamn. 78%? The Utopian is always making speeches. They're getting booed. So they don't have secret identities. Yeah, it kind of proved it when they were famous in the previous episode. You had a sibling rivalry. The daddy issues. He doesn't regret it. Yeah, he doesn't seem to have remorse over his lost friends. Is Brandon about to go full on anti hero? I'm here for it. The style for the flashbacks. Damn, he really lied to spare his feelings. What a nice dad. Maybe the utopian is too honest sometimes. Damn, they put his picture in the newspaper? Oh. Damn, his wife. They met because he put his dead father in a newspaper why is he bleeding she's like lois lane is this his daughter the new generation's gonna go against the old generation at the end of this i can see it coming is she gonna retire oh chloe he just has a bad relationship with all his kids doesn't he sometimes you gotta find the middle the root of all the problems sometimes it's you man yo he doesn't even give a shit about the the dude who died. He's so controlling. I don't think he's actually listening to Chloe at all. At least he's trying something. But he's waiting for her to change, not himself to change. Did they get their powers because they were looking for some Hail Mary solution? Getting out of their debt? So dad was a capitalist? Damn, so he killed himself so he doesn't face the consequences of his actions? Damn, he was like the poster boy. They kept him out of the, the dark side of the business. He doesn't like disappointing people. That's probably one of his core faults. He likes the way he's perceived by society more than 
being a dad. Does he also have some kind of illness? I mean, his nose started bleeding out of nowhere. He's also rooted by daddy issues. Prime theme. Damn, they still bruised up. No super healing. What's happening to him? I knew he was ill. Damn, Bricks died too? So when they landed on them, Bricks died? What? He's going full anti-hero, I can feel it. Damn. Yo, Brandon's fully going anti-hero. I see it coming. I wanna see it coming. I think the mother's on Brandon's side. Was she the one he was waiting for to arrive? I feel like some people are only gonna show up in flashbacks. He does look like a classic movie star in this. He's getting a vision? That is a message from his dad? Is the next episode the island episode? I wanna know how they got their powers, the story. Damn, you can see him. What a way to end it. So his dad was able to communicate with him in the afterlife. A lot of daddy issues in the show. It should be titled Jupiter's Legacy, Daddy Issues. <laughs> yeah. yeah, man. This is a great show. I'm so intrigued. I'm so intrigued. Yeah. So what I got from this episode is that Brandon is going down an anti-hero path his dad does not like it his dad seems so stubborn strong-willed he seems like he cares a lot about what people perceive him as a, you know what i'm saying more than his family more than his relationship with chloe and brandon and his wife his wife seems so against what he's doing but also supportive or she's just at this point they've probably been together for hundreds of years and She's like, this is who he is. Gotta take him the way he is. Because love is love. Uh, Brainwave was mostly in flashbacks in this episode. But he was in the current time in the funeral situation. Seems like the rest of the world is fine with what Brandon did. Except his dad. That seems like it's going to be a big theme in this whole season. I didn't know three of them died. That was a shocker. I thought that dude just got like knocked down, but I just realized I never saw him the rest of that fight. And to think that dude's family saw him with a hole through his chest. Yo, this show is amazing. Anyway, tell me what you guys think. Like, subscribe, about to dive into the third episode. Deuces.